A question that comes in often is, Paul, I am growing my pest control business. Am I better off focusing on cash flow or growth rates, right? Am I better off growing my, my revenue at a rapid rate or just focusing on higher levels of cash flow? And, you know, it really comes down to what it is you're looking to do with your business. If a sale is on a horizon, depending upon the financial conditions, I might answer that question in two opposite directions. And here's what I mean by that. As interest rates go up and financial conditions get tighter, there's a greater focus on the immediacy of cash flow. So we talk about this as, as almost duration risk. If you pull up on uh, Google Finance and you look at how sectors are performing as financial conditions have gotten tighter over the last year, the sectors that have led the nosedive have really been tech, right? And we call tech stocks long duration stocks because they're not generating a ton of cash flow now, but they're growth stocks and people invest in them because they've got high growth rates and we expect to have significant cash flow at some point off in the future. So we call those long duration stocks. And when financial conditions are loose and interest rates are suppressed and low, the capital markets tends to pull financial returns from the future into the present. So companies that grow at very high rates tend to be overvalued relative to their peers. That happens in resi services as well, with HVAC businesses and pest control businesses. So we've seen a, a focus in recent years, as interest rates have been suppressed, on growth rates, more so than absolute percentages of, of, of profitability. As interest rates go up, the reverse happens. We are now taking the financial returns that we've pulled into the present and we're pushing them back out into the future. So there's more of a focus on the immediacy of cash flow hitting the P&L today. So if you're thinking about a sale, the best thing that you can probably do for yourself is slow down the top line growth rates, focus more and more on the immediacy of cash flow and increase the level of profitability in your business. I think whether it's lawn care or pest control or garage doors or solar or any of these businesses that use door to door, you know, door to door for me, at least internally, is always a great bellwether or a reference point for duration with regard to these residential service financial assets. And what I mean by that is door to door by its very nature, you're spending a lot of money today, right? You're paying sales guys to go out, knock on doors. You're putting on unprofitable revenue, which is effectively what you do when you're doing door to door, because you're saying, hey, I'm gonna put on these accounts, I'm gonna have higher attrition rates, I gotta pay big commissions. But at the end of the day, a year or two, three years from now, I hope to retain a good chunk of those. They'll be very dense and they'll be kicking off cash flow. Over the course of the last, you know, 13 years, during quantitative easing and the suppression of interest rates, we've seen door-to-door -door businesses get higher and higher valuations. And that was extremely acute during the COVID period of 2020 and 2021, when real yields, so real interest rates were extremely negative and nominal interest rates were, you know, 25 basis points. That has kicked into reverse at a dramatic clip here in 2022. So in my mind, a lot of these door-to-door -door businesses that are effectively long duration stocks tend to act in a lot of ways like technology companies do. The price increases dramatically when interest rates are suppressed and when the reverse happens, we start to see those valuations fall off very, very quickly. I think as we get into Q1 and Q2 of 2023, we'll be able to see those duration impacts on resi services businesses. So I guess when you're thinking about it, you want to focus in these sorts of environments on cash flow as opposed to the growth rate and free cash flow. As interest rates go down, you can focus more on growth rates, be a little bit less concerned about cash flow, 